this was underwater. As you can see, see how the plants were pushed over? All that was underwater. All this low area, see how these tall, uh, I don't know what it is, bamboo or whatever, it's all pushed down. All that was underwater. The river's still up pretty high. You got the homes in the back, but they were up on a cliff, so they were spared. But, at the moon over there, blue sky out for the time being. Might get a thunderstorm tonight, but I don't think we got to worry about flood stage again. But like I said yesterday, the water went down pretty fast. But that's because it didn't rain out at all for the night. But, uh, yeah, that's all the damage. And I'm sure there's more debris up ahead. So let's go look. See the way the trail got warped? All that's from water damage. All that soil right along in here just got pushed. You got cracks, you got the water that got underneath that caved it in. And there's a lot of beavers and uh, great blue herons on this side because it's still pretty full with water. Huh. Huh. This is the uh, Mohawk River Trail behind the firehouse. Or behind Staley uh, Elementary, depending on how you take it. But, uh, yeah, we're not going to go through this. <laughs> well, actually, we could. Does anybody dare me to give it a try? I say we go through it. <laughs> Still pretty low. But the water is slowly receding. Looks like some people actually did walk through it. I see footprints here. So we're gonna walk, we're gonna go through it. Fuck it. If I fall down though, you're gonna hear a lot of words. You'll be able to create a whole new vocabulary. See, the problem is, is that water gets underneath this, and that's what breaks it up. So, you might have big, huge potholes. Not something I'm looking forward to. A lot of worms under here. Make the fish happy. But all that was just absolutely underwater. How much water? Well, probably judging by where the tree line, uh, the trees are showing dampness on the bark. I'd say it was probably a good couple feet at least. Crawfish. Gotta get the crawfish. Hold up here. See a little crawfish? A little crawfish. Gotta save the crawfish. Did you know that a healthy ecosystem uh, biologists, the first thing they look for in fresh water, like streams and creeks, is uh, crawfish. It's a fact. If crawfish are non-existent, that means the water is not healthy. And he's... Eh? Crawfish. FYI, for the city of Rome, the entire Go fence ahead. along here, which faces the uh, soccer field of Staley, that has collapsed from the just the uh, the pressure of the water when it flooded. Because all this is behind well, the fence. Something else that's going to have to get. It fixed. was about three feet high. That's a lot of water, and it left a lot of damage behind. Not really major damage, but the fence along here was nice and even with the ground. Now it's pushed out. 
That's just from the pressure of the water. They need the Coast Guard in here to save all the crawfish. A lot of crawfish all over. My God. Sucks to be them. And I'm trying to put as many back as I can find alive. But uh, all this got flooded. What I need is a drone. A drone would make a nice view of, of, of damage. You could actually see the entire radius of damage. Uh, the water's maybe less than an inch high right here, but it's flowing out over there because they got a pump going. Uh, for Strau, so maybe their basement got flooded or they're pumping the water out of the pond area here that's left, but uh, I'm not going to ride over there because oh, the right water is still behind the over a foot high. Uh, this is kind of the in trail. the, uh, I don't know and what the river current, culvert, and that is moving uh, really it's fast. It's one of the lowest points. Behind, it's the lowest point behind the firehouse, right in back of these houses here. But uh, this trail is really buckled from the water. I mean, it is, <laughs> it's like this. And before the flooding, it was nice and flat. So, I mean, you probably really can't notice it on the camera. But uh, the trail is definitely buckled. So, Keep that in mind because when the ground dries, that's when this is really going to crack <laughs> and break up. And uh, it's already done that in some areas. But uh, it's a safety issue for the city of Rome to be notified about, as you can see. Nice big 